Hi dear students, welcome to our RNTM DS. The topic that we are going to discuss is very important topic. It's called moment to force ratio from biomechanics. So this moment to force ratio is very easy and simple to understand. And this topic is being most frequently asked in almost all INACT and NEET MDS examinations. So we know that in biomechanics, we have a force and we have center of resistance. And we also know that what happens if I apply a force through the center of resistance and what if I don't. So if I apply a force through the center of resistance, what happens is I will be having a bodily movement or translation. And what if I don't, I will be having something called rotational tendency of the tooth movement and that is called moment of the force. Right. So let us consider the situation. I am having a tooth and I am applying a force at the bracket level and the magnitude of the force for the discussion's sake, it's 10 grams. Okay. And in clinically, I can never apply a force through the center of resistance because it is located at the root portion. So I have to apply the force at the distance from the center of resistance and let us assume that distance is 10 millimeter. So what happens is, I will be having some rotation tendency in clockwise direction like this way. So I will be having a clockwise moment for this amount of force I am applying at the bracket level which is at a distance from the center of resistance. So this clockwise moment can be simply called as moment of a force. Right. What happens is I will be having my teeth which is tipping. So this is called clockwise tipping or it can also be called as control tipping and tipping can be of either control tipping or uncontrolled tipping. So these can be differentiated only by means of moment to force ratio. Okay. So what if I don't want such kind of tooth movement? So what if I want only a bodily kind of tooth movement or what if I don't want the root to move in forward direction? So I should be applying a force which counteract this moment. So this force or this moment of a force is called as counter moment. Why this is called counter moment? Because it is counteracting this moment. Hence this is called as counter moment and this can be represented as MC. So it is always the MC is to MF or it is always the counter moment to moment of the force ratio determines the different types of tooth movements such as tipping, translation or uncontrolled tipping, control tipping and torquing as well. So it is always the counter moment to moment of the force ratio. So this can be called colloquially called moment to force ratio simply both are the same it is actually the counter moment to moment of the force ratio but it's now generally or commonly called as moment to force ratio in simple words both are the same right so what happens when i give a counter moment the root gets operated in this manner so my teeth which was like this gets operated like this okay so the in moment to force ratio we have four different scenarios that is moment to force ratio is equal to 0 or it can be greater than 0 and less than 1 or it can be equal to 1 or it can be greater than 1. So the moment to force ratio or counter moment to moment to force ratio both are the same. So we have four different scenarios we have the moment to force ratio which is equal to 0, we have the moment to force ratio which is greater than 0 but less than 1 and we have the value which is equal to 1 and we have the value which is greater than 1. Let us see one by one. So what happens or what kind of tooth movement will I get if the moment to force ratio is 0. So Please pay attention. So when we apply a force at the bracket level, which is at the distance from the center of resistance, what happens is we know that we will be having a clockwise moment. Okay. And what if we do not give any counter moment? That is no counter moment. Because if MC by MF is 0, what, what, what does it imply mathematically? The counter moment is 0. 
so when we don't give any counter moment what happens is the teeth undergo tipping which is uncontrolled in manner what is uncontrolled tipping the crown moves in one direction and root moves in opposite direction so in such kind of tooth moment the center of rotation of a tooth will be closer to the center of resistance of a tooth only in such cases the crown will move in one direction that root will move in opposite direction so this is called uncontrolled tipping this will happen when we don't give any counter moment okay so coming to second scenario when we apply little counter moment but lesser than moment to force ratio so here i am applying a force this red arrow is i am applying a force at the bracket level from the distance from the center of resistance so i am getting a moment of a force when i apply a counter moment which is smaller than the moment of a force what happens is i will be having a tipping but unlike the previous situation this will be control tipping so i will be getting a control tipping when i am applying a counter moment which is greater than 0 but less than the moment of the force that i have got from the applied force in such cases i will be having control tipping where my root is going to remain in the same situation whereas only the crown moves so in such cases the location of center of rotation will be at the root apex right so coming to third scenario that is moment to force ratio is equal to 1 so mathematically what happens is when numerator and denominator is equal to 1 which implies the numerator is equal to denominator so this is what mathematical implication in this scenario so again i am applying a force at the bracket level which is at a distance from the center of resistance so i will be getting a moment of the force in clockwise direction so when i am applying the same amount of counter moment which is equal to the moment of the force what happens is like i will be getting a moment called bodily moment or translation so when i apply same amount of counter moment to counteract the moment of the force i will be getting a tooth moment called translation or bodily kind of tooth moment so in such cases where will be the center of rotation since the teeth is moving in a bodily manner without tilting there won't be center of rotation so in such cases the center of rotation is located at the infinity right coming to last scenario that is moment to force ratio which is greater than 1 so here i am applying a force at the bracket level from the center of resistance so i am getting a moment of the force what if i apply a bigger counter moment to counter this moment i will be getting a tooth moment called root upraising or torquing that is my crown is going to remain in same position only my root moves in the direction of counter moment so when i apply much amount of counter moment than the moment of the force i will be getting the torquing type of tooth moment so in such cases the location of center of rotation would be at the bracket level okay so let us come to a oral flash which is a special segment from us so this is a basic summary of what we have seen right now so we have different kind of tooth movement what determines a different kind of tooth movement it is nothing but the ratio of counter moment to moment of the force or it is the moment of the force ratio or moment to the force ratio determines the different kind of orthodontic tooth movement so based upon the moment to force ratio we have four different kind of tooth movement that is we have tipping which can be categorized into uncontrolled and controlled tipping we have translation we have talking as well so when the moment to force ratio is zero that means there is no counter moment so we will be having uncontrolled tipping so when the moment to force ratio is greater than zero that is but lesser than the moment of moment to force then we have a tipping called controlled tipping when the counter moment is equal to moment of the force or when i am applying the counter moment which is just same as the moment of the force we will be having a tooth moment called bodily type of tooth moment or translation also when i am applying the counter moment 
which is greater than the moment of the force i will be getting a tooth movement called torquing or root uprighting so this is the basic summary of moment to force ratio so let us look back to some review questions the moment to force ratio r it can also be asked in this way mc by mf so just to recap mc by mf or m by f both are the same so when counter moment to moment to force ratio for root moment root moment is nothing but torquing moment so when i am doing torquing i should apply counter moment more than the moment to force ratio so it is always greater than 1 so any value greater than 1 is meant for root moment okay if moment to force ratio is 0 i am not giving any counter moment so what i will be getting i will be getting a tooth moment called uncontrolled tipping in order to make the tooth to move bodily that means i have i don't want the teeth to tip in either of the direction what should be the moment to force ratio so here when i don't want the teeth to tip i should be applying a counter moment which is equal to or same as the moment to force so in such cases the counter moment should be equal to the moment of the force or the moment to counter moment to moment to force ratio is equal to 1 so it should be 1 so my dear friends i hope this session was useful so moment to force ratio is very simple concept and very easy to understand and i hope this concept this session was very useful for your preparation thank you